Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a July favorites video. There are so many things that I've been loving this month and let me know in the comments what you guys have been loving this month, different products you've tried, clothes you've bought, all the things because it's been hitting lately. July was good to me, July was good. <laughs> If you're new here, my name is Vanessa. I make videos on lifestyle, fashion, advice, budgeting, all the above. So if that is something that interests you, consider subscribing. But let's get into the video. Okay, let's start. Let's start tech. We love. We love tech. So first things first. Fake ASMR. It's like no. Okay, these are the Sony. Oh my gosh, their names are so ugly. The Sony 1000 MXs. I always open it wrong too. The phone. Let me see. Let me see if I'm lying. Oh, I was right. The Sony WH1000XM4s. So these are their their Bluetooth noise canceling headphones. And you know, I got the Bose ones first, right? Because I'm I'm a Bose girl, but it just they broke and they weren't really like connecting. The reason I didn't get these at first was because they only connect to one device and I was like, ooh, I can't go from my phone to my computer, that's annoying. But actually the connectivity is pretty good. So like swapping devices isn't that bad if it's already like been paired before. So it's honestly fine. That's and that was the one issue, but they're super comfortable. Um, they're pretty like chill to put on. Even right now, I hope I'm not screaming. Even right now, the the cup of the headphone themselves have like noise canceling quality, so it's like it hits. Honestly, I love them. They're so comfortable. Um, they come in obviously this color, a midnight like blue, and then like a cream beigey color. Um, comes with a little aux cable so you can plug it in, and then it also comes with the adapter for the airport or airplane if you need that. Um, I was surprised. I really like them. Um, I got them honestly because the Bose ones broke, but um they have been they have been hitting. Um definitely wait for them to go on sale because I think they retail at like 350 with tax like 400 But on Amazon Prime Day this year they were like $230. So I'll definitely wait to get them on sale, but even if you buy them full price, they're worth it. Like they really They're a good quality headphones, sound quality, all that noise cancellation. Perfect, beautiful. My second July favorite for my tech is my iPad. So I got my iPad Pro a couple months ago and I do I do have the little setup. Oh wait, let me not my message is up. Let's just clear that. Clear, clear. Oh, I do have a little setup. So I have ooh, this is like falling. I have obviously the Apple Pencil, Magic Keyboard, it's the iPad Pro 11 inch, I believe. So I got this because I wanted to be able to travel and edit videos and content without taking my laptop. Cause initially I would take my laptop with me when I would go on trips and whatnot. And it was just like a little heavier than I would have expected. And then it's a little scary trying to like, or it was just a little hard cause it was bigger than I really needed. So this is definitely more portable. And I actually started using it a lot this month because my computer broke. So <laughs> it was in the Apple store for a little bit, the battery failed. So this has been like a great fail safe cause I was not even preparing for that to happen. But luckily, look at God, still had something to edit and do things on. Now it was hard because a lot of my content was already on my SSD, so I needed the laptop, but this has been really great in the interim. And I also really like digital planning and stuff. So it's just the perfect little second screen and I love it. Okay, so that is our Tech July favorites. Next up we have, so I actually been starting to, this is not new to me. This is the Arm & Hammer Essential Deodorant, Natural Deodorants, Natural Deodorizers. It's free of aluminum, parabens, all that, and it's the Rosemary Lavender. Now this isn't new. I used to use this like in like when I was little, like middle high school. And then I like, I forgot about it. I betrayed myself and started using other deodorants. But this one, I love that it's free of all those like bad things for your body, but then it actually works. You know, it's summertime and the sweat is real. I'm a sweaty girl and that's okay. This has been great because it goes on 
clear, which I like that so much because I hate the little white fuzzies that be in your armpit when you use deodorant. So this is great. And you don't have to do like, oh, we gotta let it dry before. No, like you put it on, you go, you're fine. And I like it and it's just my refound love because I used to use this so much. I forgot about it, but I'm back and it's better. And yeah, 24 hour odor protection. Sweaty girls know. Okay, so our next skincare July favorite is actually this new moisturizer. Okay, let me get this close up, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the Bio, I always mess this up, Biosense Squalene Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. So this moisturizer visibly brightens and balances skin and it has plant-derived squalene. Um, so you can use this morning or night. It is a gel moisturizer. You can see kind of the texture on the top and it is glass. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to try something new. I am tried and true to my pharmacy um, gel moisturizer, but someone recommended this to me in Sephora and they were coming with all the tea, why it's good, why everything. And they, they was just selling it hard and it was on sale. So I said, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and I've really been liking it. It's in a couple weeks now and it pretty much acts the same as my previous moisturizer, but I will say I feel like it has helped brighten my skin. I do think at night I want a thicker moisturizer, so it, it's not for both, but I've definitely been loving it as my morning moisturizer and 10 for 10 would recommend. I'm gonna try their other serum and their dark spot corrector, so I'll let you guys know when I get those. So the next two items we have, I've been really loving this month as well. Okay, so two items. I guess you can say it's kind of bag quality accessory type. Okay, so first things first is this Rossum wallet. Okay, and it just looks like that, super skinny. Ooh. So this is like a dupe for the Ridge wallet. I wanted the Ridge wallet, right? But I wasn't about to drop. <laughs> Like $100 on something I wasn't even sure I like, you know? So this, I read reviews online, and then this was a good dupe. This was only like $25, and so the cards go in, and then this is a, mm, my nails. Anyway, this strap is a money holder, and then right here, you just push up your cards like that, and it just fans out. Now, obviously, I'm not going to pull out my cards, but um, it fans out like this, so you're able... Oh, actually, that's not showing anything. So you're able to pull out your cards like that and it just fans out. Um, I only carry a couple cards with me, so I thought this was super helpful. Like, it fits in my pocket and then, like, and I'm talking woman pockets because they're, like, this big in women jeans. But they fit in my pocket. It's fine. can throw it in a bag. Very easy. I also like it because it's metal, so if it falls on the ground for some reason, I'll hear it compared to, like, my cloth or, like, leather wallets where it's like you can't hear it when I when this drops I hear it. it's like my phone dropping so I love it and it's really been helpful okay next is this adidas bag so this is what it looks like so this is the bag I got my little hand sanitizer on the side because you know we're in a panorama and this is the strap it's adjustable um it also has like this strap to strap onto you again and then a little key hook you got the main pocket side pocket and then this front pocket with velcro um pretty simple bag i got it from asos for like 12 dollars um it's just simple to throw you know the tiktok girlies keep talking about this lululemon bag belt bag so this is equivalent of mine even before they started with all that but um got this bag it fits like my phone my wallet um, I even fit my gimbal in here one time, so it's pretty, like, it's small, but it's mighty. Um, so I've been loving that for casual wear, just throwing that on and being able to go about my day with everything that I need. So we talk skincare, we talk tech, we talk some bag and accessories, so of course I'm gonna throw a clothing item in there, y'all. I've been loving these Zara tank tops. They're just their basic, stretchy material. It's like a thick tank top um i've also seen on tiktok people wear the reverse so it's like a high neck and a low back which is cute but you got to cut off the tag for that i'll try and let y'all know but um i've been loving these tank tops and they're such like nice quality and they're not that expensive i'll link it in my like to know it if you guys are interested in purchasing but i love them you can dress them up dress them down like you can wear it 
to the office, church, like more formally things if you have like pants or a nice skirt with it. But then you can also wear it casually how I am right now. So it's very versatile. So I have like this beigey color. And you know, once I like something, I get it in multiple colors, y'all. So I also got it in black. So it just looks like this and it looks like this in the front. It does have the little, um, let me show y'all. It does have the little like inner flap that goes over like your chest, but it doesn't bother me. I like it. Some people said like it runs up and it like makes like some weird lines on their chest, but I haven't faced that. So I think it's okay. And I've also seen some people wear it with bras, without bras because of that second interior layer. So very versatile. So I have like this beige color, this black, I got it in like white and then an eggshell like so many colors it's just it's so easy to style and it's like a great essential for like a capsule wardrobe definitely recommend all right y'all so that oh i almost forgot so my last favorite for july is actually my nail kit y'all so it is in it's not cute anymore it's kind of just all thrown in this box but this this right here and it's heavy okay this is my nail kit so again the tiktok girlies keep getting me y'all and you know i'm someone who only gets their nails done when i like have a big enough event not even i'm pretty sure i wore press-ons to multiple weddings but i will get my nails done for my birthday and that's i'm pretty sure that's the last time i got my nails done and so i've seen the tiktok girlies like the salon too much diy at home and i love a diy like i love a diy and i've always been someone who likes to do my nails at home so i started doing the gel x at home y'all this is my first set okay this is my right hand which was done by my left hand so it's a little it's a little rocky i won't hold you it's a little rocky but the right or the left hand done by my right hand it's hitting y'all this is the first set i did and we're never going to the salon again okay look look at this like at home work and y'all can even see the goodness in this photo like it's in real life they are hitting so i've been doing my nails at home this is the first that i did it's the a press coffin set so i got a nail kit from beetles so it comes with i think this is like 500 nail tips it's the coffin shape i cut them down so they're a little bit longer um and then it also came with like this mini curing light and it's motion activated so like when you put your thumb here or like your finger here it'll turn right on to like flash cure and then it also came with some nail glue um and girls and guys whoever likes to do their nails um it's it's been great it's been a journey trying to figure out how to do it but i love a nail i love a nail adventure so i can probably do like a dedicated video on all the nail stuff i've bought in but that tip that um beetles kit to get started girls it's hitting all the tiktok girlies they were right and shout out to my teachers michelle mccabe nail all them yo deebs like oof they really they have unlocked another side of Vanessa and, or they have enhanced another side of Vanessa and we love it. So that's my nail kit that I've really been loving. Besides a beetle kit, I've really been loving this cuticle oil. Um, so this is the pomegranate and fig. Now I'm not even gonna try to say, but this is a name. Okay, y'all see it. Um, and it has like <laughs> a little dropper. Um, and so that's great just to put it on your nails. Yes, I'm doing this in the video. But I've really been loving that cuticle oil. Girls and guys, if you want your nails to grow, look good and hydrated, apply cuticle oil minimum once a day. Even I would go as far as like, like a couple times a day. Some people even do it every time they wash their hands. But like, just think of it how like you put on lotion after you wash your hands. Like your nails need a little bit more juice than just the lotion. I've been loving those two items for all my now nail journey. I'll keep you guys updated too. But that pretty much wraps up all our July favorites. So we hit some clothes, some skincare, beauty, accessories, all the above. 
Drop down in the comments below anything you guys have been loving or you want me to try. I'm down to do like some product reviews or go into depth of any of the products I showed today. Just let me know in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned till my next video. Bye guys. Prepare to be sick of me. Prepare to be sick of me, y'all. This nail kit. Woo. <laughs> I have to see if we were still recording because, woo, your girl's tired. Okay, I had to make sure it was still recording again. Um.